Hello, welcome to Lemon Studios, where we talk anything and everything entertainment. I'm, of course, the Lemon himself, Zeke Clamone, and this is my review for Evil Dead Rise, the, later, the, oh, the latest installment into the Evil Dead franchise. But before we get to that, let's get the house clean out of the way, shall we? I'm going to need you to hit the like button. I'm going to need you to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts of Evil Dead Rise or the Evil Dead franchise as a whole. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, with all that out of the way, let's get into the review. Also, if you do hear some like noises, my dog is chewing on his bone to the side over there, so we're just gonna let him be. All right, so, Evil Dead Rise. First of all, the Evil Dead franchise as a whole. They're all right to me. Um, I am, I believe I'm in the minority where I say out of minus this one, there was the original trilogy and then there's Evil Dead, the 2013 remake slash requel, depending on who you talk to. Um, and I like the 2013 one the best out of all of them. Granted, that was the first one I saw, and then I saw the other three. But as I grew up, and I watched the four before going to see this one, I still prefer the 2013 version more, uh, just because it takes everything at face value and it's very serious. Uh, the campiness in the other three, more so two and three, um, for the most part, didn't fully work for me. But I do like the movies overall as a whole. So I was excited to go see this. So that's that's where we stand as we're going in, just to set the table for how I am going to feel for this movie. And I will say this. Out of all five, this is probably the best story out of all. Uh, it is the story of Ellie and Beth, who are sisters. Ellie has a family. She has three kids. She has a son and two daughters. Um, and they live in this apartment building. And they live, like, on the top floor. And But the building is about to crash. It doesn't really work anymore. Everyone's starting to move out. There's not many people, re residents left in. In comes Beth, um, played by Laura Sullivan. And it is amazing how much these two actresses look alike. I was like, wow, I fully buy that they're sisters. And because she has something happening within her life, and so she goes to visit her sister, and then chaos presumes from there. Then y'all know what happens. The book gets in play, the words are said, dead eyes are around. And if you've seen the trailer, it's Ellie who gets possessed by the dead eye. And now it's Beth who really to defend the family against um, Ellie, the dead eye, and of course other dead eyes presume as we continue on. So pretty uh, straight to the point type of story, right? And you really buy in and the performances are all absolutely spectacular. Hey buddy, how you doing? How you doing? He just wants to show love now. Um, from the little girl who plays the youngest daughter to the oldest daughter to the son, even the neighbors that are within the floor as well, who are left within this apartment building. All fantastic, stellar, very small cast. And the direction is also very good too. And I mean, it, I thought we were, I was like, this is easily gonna be my favorite movie of the year because it has a great cold open as well. It has an amazing cold open and a great title card. Cause I was like, wow, that's a freaking lock screen if I've ever seen any or a screensaver on a computer. And it really does a good job of setting the stage. Like, I'm telling you, this whole first act is almost perfect. Like, <laughs> when I say almost perfect, I mean, it It really, like, if the other two acts hold up as much, the first act is perfect. Because it really puts you in the position, okay, you understand where all the characters are coming from. You know basically what the motivations are going to be besides obviously survive. And... <clears throat> And it, once the uh, situation happens, because, you know, e typical Evil Dead for, uh, uh, fashion, all the exits are completely gone, and you really buy into it, and you're like, shit, this is a terrifying situation to be in. And you are just strapped on for the ride, and it takes you on one hell of one, because, again, the story is so good. Now, here's where the problems come into play. When I say it's almost perfect, because yes, they eliminate the exits. Yes, they eliminate the communication within the people who are left on their floor, which I believe is the 13th floor, which is the top floor. But it's a very big building. <laughs> and I just don't buy that basically 
everyone else in this building is completely gone. They do show some other people, but they really aren't a factor at all. And they show them at the end. And the explanation in typical original trilogy, Evil Dead fashion, the way it's explained is just kind of, oh, darn, they misunderstood pretty much. And you know, <laughs> for some reason, that's where I drew the line when it came to my uh, uh, disbelief factor. Like, I couldn't buy into that. I bought into the Deadites. I bought into how the exits are eliminated. I bought into everything else, but the ending and that, that explanation is where I went, you know what? That's fake as shit. <laughs> I don't know why. That was the moment where I went, okay. So, personally to me, if, you think, if you're going to be able to buy into everything else, I really don't see that being a problem for you, but for me, it resonated to me and I have a problem with it, so obviously I'm going to present it to y'all. Um, Another thing, the gore is very tame. And look, does gore really elevate a movie? I, I would say so if it's really des if it's if it's necessary to the story. And I will also say in this Evil Dead franchise, as compared to the other ones, the gore is not really necessary. So I can understand why it's more tame. But here's how I've always seen as the Evil Dead franchise. Take a disaster movie for example, like what was the last one? That was about the moon, Moonfall. I always see disaster movies as a celebration of special effects to see how far we've come because you know of how crazy it looks just to see, like, I mean, I remember watching 2012 and just being mind blown <laughs> by it. I was like, wow, this looks real as shit. Uh, granted, I was like 14, but still. Um, and I rewatched it uh, a couple years ago and I was like, wow, still looks real as shit. That's really good special effects. Same thing with Moonfall, for the most part. Um, John Wick is a celebration of stunt performances. Uh, what is another one? I had one more. I can't remember what my third uh, one was. But you're seeing where I'm going with this. Evil Dead is a celebration of practical effects. And for the most part, everything is practical here, but What's so good about the celebration is like how just hardcore they go for it within the Evil Dead franchise. And I just feel like they really reel back quite a bit within this movie. Like, sure, you still got your classic spots. You got the puking in the blood. You just got puking in general. There are some hardcore uh, death scenes, especially within the cold open. Um, and, you know, you got the wrap up. You see a Volkswagen. There's all the Easter eggs that you can see from the Evil Dead. I just feel like the, uh, it, it, this one just wasn't as fun to me. I guess that's the word that I'm really looking for. This one just wasn't as fun. I can recognize this is the best story out of the five. I can recognize these are the best characters, minus Ash, of course, that the franchise has ever offered. It's the best ensemble overall out of all five movies. I can recognize all that. But when I really sit back and I think to myself, all right, which Evil Dead is my favorite because which one that I had the most fun with, which, was, which Evil Dead was I the most entertained by, it's still that 2013 version for me. But that is not a slight to this movie whatsoever. It's still a very fun ride. I recommend you going to see it to the theater if I had to rank it on the lemon scale, which is Sour Lemon is the bottom, Expired Store Bought Lemonade, then Store Bought Lemonade, then just Lemonade, then Freshly Squeezed Lemonade, then Strawberry Lemonade. This is a very good lemonade. Like, it's not quite freshly squeezed, but it's almost there if they just took a little bit and also something got cut i think we probably needed to tack on another five maybe ten minutes because there's obviously a relationship with the two sisters with their mother who is not in this movie but a relationship dynamic gets brought up very late in the movie well i'm just like well where did that come from i don't know where that came from i that also helps within another with a uh, bad situation that the reason why she goes to Ellie for help, it ties into that. But that the dynamic with their mother was just completely, like it was just, it, it just came completely out of left field. So yeah, the script need another revision. Direction, amazing. Casting, amazing. Performances, amazing. It's just the screenwriting where I had a problem with it. And I, and I also think runtime too. I think if we did have a few minutes to just let some things breathe and simmer, 
and add some more relationship dynamics. Like, sure, the stakes are high enough. You got Beth is protecting the kids from Ellie as her final wish before you know she gets completely uh, taken over. Um, but could have had a little bit more to make it a little bit more personal between our main girl and the main deadite that we are fighting. Another thing I also really appreciate about this movie is how they were able to let us as an audience be ahead of the characters. Because since we did care about them, when we knew something was going to happen and it was slowly bringing up, we were like, oh, oh, come, come on, come on, turn around. And the fear was really able to like really summon with us um, because we were worried about the characters as to just being scared or waiting for a jump scare because we were ahead. I also really appreciated that as well. But again, out of all of them, which one I have more fun with, the four, uh, I'm going to go with the fourth one or the 2013 remake, however you want to perceive it as. But yeah, let me know what y'all thought of Evil Dead Rise down in the comment section below. Leave a like if you did enjoy this review. And again, hit that subscribe button as I am trying to grow into my YouTube career. We are 30 away from 100 subscribers. Please help me get there. And that'll be it from you guys. And I'll see you here at Lemon Studios next time.